I'm Jules, Jules Schwarzer. I'm an exec coach. Uh, I've done various work with the AEC in terms of development, and I've chosen to attend the neuroscience course for coaches. And I think it'd be quite rare to find a coach right now who isn't aware of the neuroscience being quite important. So I chose to go on this to find out more about it for, for myself and for, for, my, for my clients. I think at this stage, probably four things jump out to me. One is the importance of, of the theory and the, and, the, and the kind of academic piece, uh, which is easy to learn with a group and, and with a tutor. Secondly is the part about uh, actual application, what's actually mean in practice to my coaching work. And thirdly, the fact that it's constantly evolving so it's not there, it's not defined. So, it's, so as we learn something, we're kind of unlearning it. And I think those three elements have proven to be really, really useful. And of course, learning in a group of other learners makes it a great experience to, to learn from each other. So, so far, so good, enjoy. So it's the afternoon of day two and <clears throat> lots and lots of stuff going through my mind, um, which is fantastic. And I think the main thing that I'm taking away is that um, this neuroscience, neuroplasticity stuff, it's kind of a different language and a different way of, of um, communicating with my clients. Um, so there's the science bit if somebody's very much a thinking person and there's the emotional and hormonal and chemical stuff if somebody's more of a feeling person. So I think it can be really applicable to lots of different clients um, and I'm just loving a kind of different language that I can use and, and just a different way to present things to my clients. So it's all good. We realised that when we talked about, um, when we looked at a coaching scenario, looking at it through the lens of neuroscience, meant that there was a, like a disassociation so rather than getting into the content and focusing on that you could actually focus on step back look take a more scientific approach or maybe look for more of the evidence and understand it uh, through the lens of neuroscience good morning i'm amy brown one of the trainers at the neuroscience for coaches program and it's bright and early on day two of module one and i thought i'd just share some insights into how it's been going so yesterday a fantastic group of coaches came together and uh, some of my fears about how the program was going to pan out were allayed when I saw the energy and the commitment that the coaches had to discovering more about this incredible field and how it could enrich their coaching. We've got people on the program that have had very little experience with neuroscience or any science for a long time, uh, perhaps ever, and we've got other coaches that have been really interested in this field since it started gaining more popularity and have been keeping up to date with some of the things that are going on in the field and doing other trainings with other people and the, the energy yesterday was really fantastic. Some of the comments that we've had are that people want to keep things nice and fun and light at the same time as going deep into content and being able to get a real grasp for the the scientific underpinnings but be able to communicate that to their clients and to the people that they work with so to be able to really translate some of these complex scientific ideas into easy to understand and easy to work with uh, ways of thinking and doing things with their clients so that's something that we're keeping in the forefront of everything that we're doing keeping things light and fun is another focus so we've got some activities planned for today that will really get the concepts and the ideas into people um, physiologically so that they've got some perhaps unusual ways of remembering things 